During today's lecture, we dive deeper in the two instruments that are used to price carbon emissions, namely taxes and cap and trade, and comment on their relative merit. Afterwards, we will go into the practice of estimating the social cost of carbon and look into some different views on how to do so best. Discussing first the use of integrated assessment modeling using Nordhaus, his Nobel lecture. We will look at some discussions around the discount, the choice of discount rates and the role this plays in determining the social cost of carbon. Followed by Pindijk, his critique on integra integrated assessment models and his suggested alternative. You may remember the types of policies from the earlier lecture. Policies that introduce a price mechanism differ from command and control type of policies in the important sense that it leaves more autonomy to firms on how to achieve reduced emissions. Introducing a carbon, carbon price aims to correct for the external damage by introducing prices for previously unpriced emissions, bringing resulting prices including tax or allowance price closer to the cost. Soft paternalism instead aims to change behavior by providing information or changing default options, but leaves incentives in unchanged. Let us watch a video by the Pacific Institute for Climate Solutions from British Columbia that gives us a further introduction into how carbon taxes and cap and trade work and where we already find these policies in place. <laughs> 